Hello students, so I am Dr. Saurudhuti and today I am going to talk about calculations in BioLab which covers uh, weight, volume and concentration calculation. So before I jump into the calculation straight, uh, so let me tell you why this is important. So this, uh, so I am, as I said, my name is Dr. Saurudhuti. So I am a faculty at the Bennett University. Uh, which is at Greater Noida and uh, I have been teaching here since last five years. So we take uh, in the PhD program, we take uh, BTEC, uh, sorry, B yeah, master students from biotechnology and various life sciences. So one thing that we very commonly encounter is that uh, the, the calculations for weight, volume and concentrations the students are not uh, are not very good at it. So, and same thing. Uh, so we also teach to our BTEC students. So what I thought is I will create two videos on this kind of calculations so that it will help the students uh, in long term and short term. So uh, where do you see this kind of problems? Like you do see them this kind of calculations in everyday lab. And so I'm giving, I have given here two examples. So first, let's say this is like a conversation in a vaccine industry. So what do you, what your supervisor might come someday and tell you that, hello, ABC, so you see that big vial there out of fridge, like here. So this is a vaccine, which is in a concentrated form, let's say 200 milligram per mil. Right, so this is a 200 milligram per mil. So you don't know what it is. You are you just entered the industry. The effective concentration for this injection should be this much, one nanomolar. Right, so you got a diluted. The molecular weight is 54,638 Dalton, which is the same as gram per mole. Right, so you have a large concentration. You have to dilute it into smaller concentration. So would you do me a favor? Can you please prepare 0.5 ml shots of one nanomolar of this vaccine? So each of this should be 0.5 ml. And then he also asks, he or she also asks you that how many of such shots you can prepare from the big vial. Right. So that information you have to calculate from the information that is provided. So unless you know what these numbers are and how you can convert this number into a concentration unit like nanomolar what is the relation with the volume so this all will be um, greek or whatever letters you are not familiar with so that would be that and your boss will be not so happy okay so that is that so what we want is we want to learn how to do this so this is more of an industry settings. So this also can happen in a lab. Well, let's say you your boss has given you a 200 microgram per ml stock DNA solution. So by DNA, it could be a genomic DNA. It could be a plasmid DNA, but it's a DNA solution. Again, you don't know what this number means, right? So now you have to load 500 nanogram into a gel. So gel is what we use for separating large size to small size of macromolecules. Okay, so separate on the basis of the size. Now, what your boss asks you, so how many microliter of this stock you need to load? Right, so you have a stock. You, you, you may not know what stock means, but this is the stock information you have been provided. And you have to load certain amount to the gel. So how many microliter of the stock you need to load? Okay, so again, you are in the same predicament as in the last one. And you don't know how to proceed. So this happens in a, in a lab more commonly than you would believe. Okay, so here comes the, so again, if you are not able to do it, your boss probably is not going to happy. Right, so now, what we want is we want to go ahead and learn how to solve this kind of problem. So 
without going into too much details so i have i am giving you a stepwise chart on how to solve this kind of problem so that step chart is right here a flow chart right so it starts from here one two three and four this four step process is to solve this kind of problem so if the four steps are first identify the parameters present in the problem so by parameters i mean they can be either weight they can be volume or they can be concentration so typically these are the three parameters you encounter this type of problems then based on that you identify the problem type so there are four type of problems which i'll come to and you have to identify the problem type so that will be identified once you complete the step one so once you have identified the problem type the third step is to make sure all the units are converted to simplest units for example nanogram to gram milliliter to liter okay or micromolar to molar so this would be the simplest unit conversion you need to do okay that would help you in your calculation and finally once this is done and you have identified the problem type you need to solve the problem so there are as i said four types of problems and you, once you identify you have done these three steps you are good to solve the problem now let's see what are these four problem types so the type 1 problem is you would have two known one unknown so what are these two knowns one unknown so in most of the problems you will have they are based on weight volume concentration parameters okay so the interrelation between them is that concentration equals to weight per volume so this is a universal relation and uh, this holds almost everywhere right so concentration is weight per volume so you will be first type of problem you would be given two of the three entities and you would have to calculate the third so for example you have probably is given concentration and weight and volume becomes unknown so volume you can rewrite this equation as weight by concentration right so this would be known this would be known and you can calculate the volume okay the second type so let's say we are discussing the type of problem here the second type is the interconversion of units so in this you have to convert one type of volume to another type of volume or concentration to another type of concentration so we will see in the next slide that this can also be represented in various units or one type of weight to another type of weight so this is interconversion of units so this has one type of unit there will be different type of units. so example being liter to microliter okay weight gram to milligram i'm just giving some simple examples there will be more complicated ones coming but this is the interconversion of units okay so we discussed this the type 3 is the mix of the above two so where you have both type 1 and type 2 and you you are getting a mixture type 4 would be a dilution problem which most of the students are familiar with that is c1v1 equals to c2v2 so c1 is the initial concentration v1 is the initial volume c2 is the final concentration and v2 is the final volume okay so these are the four types of problems so you only get to do this first if you identify what kind of parameters are present whether their weight their concentration or their volume and then you get to come to this step that what is the problem type so what i have written throughout the entire slide and the most common mistake made by the students in this kind of problem is units so so that's why i have written pay close attention to units at every step see i have written that red in every single step unless you are careful this is the most common mistake 
done by every single student okay so please 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 be careful about this kind of mistakes okay so now we have understood the steps and we have understood the problem type so we'll go to the next video